in this video today we're going to talk about troubleshooting with Aruba CX switches and Central 2.5.2. So this video series we've gone over onboarding switches, creating and managing templates, monitoring and reporting, and so finally we're going to get into troubleshooting and how to troubleshoot from the central side, some of the tools that we have built into central as well as on the switch side. So here we're in our global overview page we are going to then look at some of the different uh, tools that we have to troubleshoot. So first let's go to alerts and events. Uh, actually let's uh, go, to, go to our switch, back to our switch. So go to our group, devices, switches, and then we'll highlight our switch. So from here we can go to alerts and events. And so this keeps track of all the events, depending on the severity, all the events that are going on within the uh, device or group. So here we can see that uh, you know, this first message here, the switch was added in, but the group was unprovisioned. So if we're having issues with not seeing a switch come up in Central, we can use alerts and events to do further troubleshooting and uh, try to figure out what's going on there. Uh, we can click on the events and see all the specific events uh, this looks all the events that it sees on the switch everything that's happened so you know the reboots uh, looks like there were some issue, issues with uh, the switch reaching the activate server uh, looks like uh, there was some out of sync issues with the LACP link so this actually looks at the events specifically on the switch itself and categorizes them by types and so, the, so the alerts will give you information about the switch logging into Central. Uh, we can do advanced filtering here if we want to look specifically for new switches connected or if a switch is disconnected. Uh, we could click that and click on filter and then that would fil filter on that, those specific events so we can go figure out why that switch was disconnected from there. So next we can look at the audit trail. So the audit trail is kind of a trail of breadcrumbs, so to speak. So it keeps track of everything that's been done between uh, Central and the switch. So here we can see the first few here. Config push was successful. Uh, login successful, reading the running con con configuration when a template was, uh, was applied. So once we change the template, the template will automatically try to log into the switch. It'll read the running configuration of the switch first and then push the template to that. So Audit Trail keeps track of all our steps that we have completed into Central. So it's a handy way to figure out, you know, if you need to trace back things that were that you uh, configured on Central or with the switch, it gives you a trail to go back and, and backtrace your steps to uh, try to root cause if there was an error made somewhere. So next, 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 let's take a look at tools. So tools, there's three different types of tests or checks that we can run. We can run a network check, which is basically, currently we have two connectivity commands that we can run. We can ping and we can trace route. The device check gives us uh, three types of tests that we can run. We can do an interface bounce, a PoE bounce, and then we can blink the uh, or blink or turn on the LED locator light on the switch. So if we have a tech on site at 3 a.m. and they need to figure out where the switch is, you can log into Central and, and blink it for them so that they can figure it out where it's at. And then we have these commands that we can run for troubleshooting purposes, uh, show running config and show tech. So first let's look at the network check test. So here we would select our device type, whether it be switch, gateway, or IAP. So we're doing switch. And then we want to specify our source, what switch we're sourcing. So here we're logged into the switch uh, view, so it's already put in the source as that switch. And then we want to pick the test that we want it to run. So we're going to do a ping test. So we can choose our destination type, whether it be host, host name or IP, or client. So here we're going to do client, and then we're going to enter the IP address that we want to ping. And then we can add in repetitions or the ping packet size if we, we want to choose, and we can use uh, configure to use the management inter interface if we so choose. So, so when we're running this, basically it's going Central's going to log into the switch and it's going to use the source interface on the switch 
that is connected to central. So in this case, we're going out default VLAN 1 over the lag to our upstream switch over, over basically our management VLAN. And so here we're going to click Run. And then it's going to start the troubleshooting session. So if we need to save this output, we can click the email button here and it will bring up a email context and we can send the email to whoever we choose, whether ourself and CC a, a friend to look at the uh, pings. Maybe we need to prove that it has connectivity uh, to the network. Or we can download that here and the uh, central will automatically create a zip file that we can then download the output. So anything that we run here in this window, we can email or download for, you know, save to a stick drive or, you know, send to a friend. So that's how we can run a network check. As we see here, we got our ping responses back so we know that we're online and we're working. Now let's go to device check. So there's three different types of tests that we can run here. So here we can do an interface bounce and then we just simply pick the port that we want to bounce. So let's say we'll do one of our APs and then we can run that output. And so then it will start the troubleshooting session and run the test. Uh, one thing to note, these don't, the troubleshooting sessions don't stack very well, so do one at a time. It's recommended that you just do one at a time. Uh, wait for one to finish before starting a new troubleshooting session command. Troubleshooting session test. So then once it's finished, we can see that the interface bounce was successful. And this, so let's, so the other commands that we can run are uh, PoE bounce and chassis locate. So let's take a look at commands, the different types of commands that we can run. So from here, we want to select our device type, select which device we're going to run these commands from. If we pick categories, we can see that we only have currently have two commands that we can run. So if we wanted to, we're on the phone with TAC, we're trying to figure out uh, what's going on, we can do a show tech, add that into the queue. Uh, we can repeat it if we so choose and then we can run that command. And so the handy thing here, as I mentioned earlier, being able to email or download the output is that we can take that show tech file and either hand it to if we have a tech support technician on site or mail it into our uh, on our tech support email. So this one will take a while to run, but uh, once you get that, then you can show, you know, you'll have that in your hands that you can uh, do whatever you want with that file. When the show tech command finishes, uh, currently the buffer here on the screen uh, only holds so much information. The show tech command is a very lengthy command to run, it takes a lot of screen space. So you need to download or, or email the output to yourself. So if you email it to yourself, you'll get a nice little handy email here with the output already in a zip file which you, then you can do what you will with, uh, with that output. So those are the commands that we can run from the user interface. Uh, let's go back to the device. Let me go to the group and go to the device level. Go to switches, click on the switch. Uh, if you notice here, if you go back to your switch details, there are other troubleshooting steps that we can do. So if we click on actions, there's three things that we can do. We can either reboot the switch, we can go to tech support, which basically takes us back to the tools screen to the commands and runs the sh and takes you to the show tech show run command so then if for tech support we can go directly to that I'll just go ahead and click on it that takes us directly back to the commands and then we can run our you know we can do a show run if we need to or a show tech and run that command uh, for tech support uh, let's go back to that switch and the actions menu is available from any of the clients, LAN, device screen. Uh, so we can also log into the console if we needed to. We can do a console and then the 
uh, central will connect into the switch and then log into the console. And so if we needed to make a command specifically on the switch, we could do that. So those are some of the steps for troubleshooting within central. Let's look from a switch perspective what we can do from the switch. So if I go here to my switch CLI, uh, the main command that you have is you want to do a show Aruba central. And you want to make sure that you're currently connected to the central and to the central server. If not, if you're getting a failure, you'll want to check first your connectivity, your IP connectivity out to the internet. Uh, make sure there's no firewalls blocking you from getting out. As well as you want to make sure DNS is working correctly and that you can resolve uh, DNS names. If you're still having issues, you can go into the debug debugger on the switch and we have a debug central option that we can do. So we could do uh, debug central and then all and then we can output that to a destination. Uh, I like to do the buffer. Makes it handy. And then we could do a show debug buffer. Uh, a new feature added in 10.5 is the reverse command. So we can see the last messages first. So here we see we pings sent to central, pongs received from central, so there's connectivity between the, the uh, switch and central. So if we were having connectivity issues we would be able to find that uh, within from the switch uh, interface. That covers it for troubleshooting uh, with Aruba CX switching and central. Uh, this is the last video in this video series, so thank you very much for watching these and for your time. Uh, if you have any questions, you can reach out to us on the Airheads community under the campus switching and routing section in the forum. Uh, you can post there or you can email me directly at justin.noonan at hpe.com. Thank you very much.